Anyone wondering whether American kids have the drive and discipline to compete and to be an innovative force in a super competitive world would have found the answers at a science Olympiad competition. About 450 answers that came in the form of 6th through 9th graders making up 31 teams from 17 schools. They descended on Magzik Middle School in Centerville weekend before last to have a blast doing real science. What do they do? Get this. In an event called Mission Possible, the students design, build, and test whimsical but fantastic devices over many months. Through a series of simple machines, they use energy transfers to achieve a specific task. Here, dispensing toilet paper. Ready, set, go. In bottle rockets, the kids use plastic soda pop bottles to develop a water-filled, pressure-driven rocket, the test being which one remains aloft the longest. Wheeled vehicle makes the soapbox derby look like kids play. Here, the students must use elastic, non-metallic material to propel their vehicle. The winning entries are judged on whether they travel the distance at a predictable speed and finish directly on the finish line. Storm the castle literally swings into action. Students design and build devices to launch projectiles far and true. But don't be thinking torque from a traditional catapult. Think medieval French trebuchet, because the sling must be powered by a counterweight. Kids were handed 17 straws, 10 toothpicks, electrical tape, a Play-Doh container, a sheet of poster board, and told to build the tallest tower in mystery architecture, while Sound of Music stands at the intersection of performing arts and hard science as students build instruments, explain the science, and perform musical selections. But for every hands-on competition, there's also what one coach calls a heads-on event, sit-down knowledge contests about water quality, insect identification, rocks and minerals, detective work around powdered substances, food chemistry and heredity, and much more. Serious stuff made seriously fun, by caring coaches and involved parents through hours of after-school prep and teamwork. The children make it seem so graceful and liberating as they move from subject to subject. And in the end, whether they win a prize or not, the kids show that certain confidence that comes of knowing they can do it. Get it? If you don't have Science Olympiad in your middle school, you need to get it. This is Eddie Roth for the Dayton Daily News Editorial Board.